Hi, Irina. How are you doing? Hi, Elsa. Thank you. I'm okay. I have been thinking about our last session with learners of Latvian. Okay. Do you have any concerns? And if you do, would you like to share them with me? Yes, of course. I noticed it was not easy for our students to understand what needs to be understood about Latvian verbs. Oh, Latvian verbs, yes. They are not easy to master because they change their forms depending on their tense and whether they are used with the first, the second, or the third person, in singular or in plural. Oh, do you have any suggestions how to make it easy for learners of Latvian? Actually, I do. What I suggest to my students is to not stress out about these things at the beginning because you don't need to be perfect. What you can do is you can just use the infinitive form and add some helping words to get your idea across. Yes, by helping words, do you mean such words as yesterday, today, and tomorrow? That's exactly what I mean. How about we teach these words in Latvian to our audience today? I like the idea. Would you like to start? Yes, sure. Vakar. Vakar. Vakar means yesterday. Šodien. Šodien. Šodien means today. Rīt. Rīt. Rīt means tomorrow. Drīz. Drīz. Drīz means soon. Sen. Sen. Sen means long time ago. Nesen. Nesen. Nesen means recently. Great. I think it will be useful for learners of Latvian. Yes, and I think that we can complete our session today and say goodbye till the next time. Bye-bye.